the Random Battles Showdown ladder. We're at 2227, which is almost in the top 100. Hopefully by the end of the episode, we can make it at 2250 and hopefully even 22, even 2300 rather. So let's go ahead and get a game. Okay, Primarina into Umbreon. It's an okay start. The main concern would be getting Toxic for only maybe 60% for Moonblast. So we always go Mawile here to get our Stealth Rock up. They do protect. We can Stealth Rock here. Mawile in general is going to be a good counter to Umbreon. Doesn't take a lot of damage from Foul Play. It's immune to Toxic. They do have Hippowdon, which is a Mawile counter. How do we... Hmm. We can go to Moltres because we're not scared of Toxic because we do have the Chesto Resto. A Boltound is good. Gallade. We're going to have to figure out a way to lure the Hippowdon. So maybe getting some damage somewhere and then more damage somewhere else and then finally breaking through. Let's go to Molt Ooh, Moltres or Primarina. Let's go to Primarina for now. Stealth Rock goes up. We have a free Hydro. You have the Primarina countered. Take Stealth Rock damage. 34. This is a... So it's leftovers, right? This is going to be tricky to deal with. Let's go to Mawile. It's a counter. Recover, okay. Now, Cryogonal never stays in here, right? So 34, we did, we did 34, 68, 92, but they have leftovers. So even if it switches out again, that's not good enough. Should we try it though? Hmm. Let's go to Primarina again, okay? Primarina on Hippowdon. We're going to make the play again. We're going to go to Mawile on the Cryogonal. Now we're going to go to Primarina again on the Hippowdon. And now we've got him. Now we have the Hydro and Cryogonal will get two hit KO'd. We are Choice Scarf. There we go. One more. Oh, we're... Oh my god, Primarina, you are... Oh man, I... <laughs> I planned everything because I just assumed Scarf Primarina would be faster than Cryogonal. That did not work though. Um, let's do it again. I believe we are in torrent range now, oh, but torrent doesn't help us, right? Okay, 50, T torrent hydro, 49 only. Let's try Gallade this time. Now let's try close combat. We really messed up the pre-marina creogonal situation there, but it's not the end of the world. We do have a banded Gallade coming in. It should 2 hit KO Hippowdon. Wow, we really wasted Primarina. Not the end of the world, but we did waste it. So you don't have a switch in. There we go. So that means Gallade is going to be my priority. There is no Gallade switch in as we know right now. Zygarde, okay. How do we deal with Zygarde? This has Dragon Dance, right? We'll be able to get a powerful close combat off. Mawile is not Intimidate. 174, it would outspeed Primarina. I think we go for the powerful attack to get damage off, and then we might have to defensive Dynamax Moltres to win. We'll close combat here for damage. You Dragon Dance, we will sacrifice Primarina. Now we go to Moltres to defensive Dynamax here. They Dynamax too, we're going to get a speed boost, which is great. Do we take the hit? Berserk, right? There we go. Okay. We get the crit. That is good. We can airstream again. You max guard here. Okay. We'll do it again. And then we can... Ooh, failed. Okay. We knock it out. Double crit. Double crit. I think only one of them mattered. And we do have the Chesto Resto we can pull. I assume you go to, you go to Hippowdon, which is... Should I... I think I... Is it going to whirlwind me? I think I just get damage for Gallade. I'm okay with fainting to Stone Edge because I will get damage for Gallade. 47. Flinch. Flinch is great, obviously. But we wanted, we wanted damage for Gallade. 50. Yeah, so this is we wanted. We wanted damage for Gallade. Damage for Mawile too, for that matter. Close combat. There we go. I think Cryogonal might come in. You go to Cryogonal, yeah. We can go to Mawile here. We can Iron Head. And you have a throw. We outspeed throw. We can play rough. And Mawile should win. Nice. Mawile should win definitely now. 
84. We can Iron Head. Yeah, now we can Iron Head Cryogonal too. Honestly, a really tough matchup for my opponent, I would say. Oh, we get Frozen. Okay. Uh, we can Sucker Punch. That didn't work. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we win because Boltwin outspeeds anyway. There we go. Okay, cool. So we move up to 2244. Pretty decent amount. Mic check. Okay. Licky Licky into Terrakion. Excellent lead matchup. Let's Swords Dance on a switch out. I think you obviously switch out of... Ch Ooh, what if you Choice Bandit Earthquake me? I don't think you do it, right? I think you always switch out. This is a perfect lead. I can even consider it Dynamaxing early. I think you always switch out. I don't think you ever Earthquake here. I don't think... If you body slam here going for a paralysis and you get it, I will be so mad. But I, I don't think you ever do it. I think you always switch out. Okay, you go to Clefable. Let's go for it. Ooh, they Dynamax too, which means this, they are weak to Terrakion. How much are we doing here? We get the special defense boost. Okay, that's good. Let's Quake now. Okay. Good value, great value. Ooh, but... Hmm. What is stronger versus Como? So Knuckle is stronger, it does around 75? 87, even better. How much do we take from close combat here? We do take too much, okay. So overall decent, I probably could have gotten more value, but overall decent value. Oh, am I just a complete idiot? Should I have max? I should have used max guard there. Whatever. Uh, we still have a um, amazing matchup, I would say. We'll go to Jolteon, throw off a Volt Switch. See how they react to Jolteon here. They go to Tyrantrum, so I don't know why they're preserving Como. I think we always go... Hmm. This could be tricky because I don't want to go to Flygon and then get hit by Choice Scarf Outrage. I think Toxicroak is therefore my best option. We can Drain Punch, right? These typically run Life Orb Dragon Dance, but I, I'm too scared of Choice Scarf to go to my Flygon here. We'll go ahead and Drain Punch. It is, see, it was Choice Scarf. Exactly, okay. 67. We could go Flygon immediately. Now we can Dragon Dance. They can't Dynamax out of the situation. There we go. Out Earthquake does 57, right? 51, okay. Body Slam, don't, don't, don't. I knew it would happen. Now we can Outrage, though. Probably not worth the risk. But I, I, I feel like I had to go for it because I had a chance to win. I had a chance to win on the spot. 70% of the time. Unfortunate. We do remove Licky Licky, though. Now, I resume Scarf Tyrantrum might come to Revenge Kill. Como comes into Revenge Kill. Okay. Okay. We are... Mm, yeah, let's just go to Jolteon here. Roserade. I don't, I don't know why you would preserve Como. It's not too valuable, is it? We go to Entai. We will have our Flare Blitz coming in hot. No, no switch in. Okay. You do have a switch in. I think we can go to Jolteon, right, on a Willow. There we go. Now we can Volt Switch. I think you should be scared of Shadow Ball, right? There we go. Now we have to be careful about how we... What do we go to? Let's go to... Hmm. Let's go to Anti. You go to Tyrantrum, does Extreme Speed knock out Entai? Extreme, Extreme Speed does not knock out Entai here. So a Head Smash would be doing a lot of damage. Hmm. We really struggle versus Tyrantrum here. With Flygon gone, we definitely struggle. 
The good thing is Toxicro can live one head smash. Jolteon seems the least valuable here. We'll sacrifice it. Goodbye. Toxicro can live one hit exactly. We'll be able to gunk shot whatever comes in. Hopefully Roserade. Please hit. There we go. Great. Uh, we don't have priority. We will... Earthquake, okay. And we win. We win now. We win. Okay, there we go. We move up to 2256. Let's get one more game. Stack attacker into Claw It's there. Definitely not a good lead matchup. We do have Rotom Wash, which can switch into a water type attack. U turn. So they predict me to switch out. Not a great lead matchup, obviously. Ludicolo, that is also not very good. We do outspeed, though. We are relatively weak to Ludicolo. Hopefully, we can get a Toxic Spike up. I feel like that might be the key to winning the game here. Let's Volt Switch into Jirachi. Exactly. Now let's U-turn on a Hydro. U-turn maybe into Rotom, for example. That is good. Do we... I think we get it up now. Half their team. No Poison type so far. Let's get it up now. Okay, Leech Seed. We do have Fire Punch on Jirachi. And I think the key is going to be getting damage on Ferrothorn. Because if we can damage Pharaoh, then our water types can do really well. We get knocked off, unfortunately. We'll Fire Punch here. Good damage. 62. We get Leech. This might have Protect. This might have Protect. We'll go back to Nidoqueen. Okay, are they using Protect? They do protect. Now we're going to Earth Power, get good damage. We get knocked off. And the reason we're happy with this damage is we want our water types. Even Stack Attacker is great if Ferrothorn is gone. Ooh, unfortunate. Uh, I think we just go Rotom, right? You Rock Polish. I'm going to Hydro you, right? Even if you Head Smash, I live and I can Hydro and one hit KO. And this is the value of getting Pharaoh so weak. Rotom Wash is a big threat now. So very likely there is no Poison type, which is why he let Ludicolo take the damage. He didn't really have an option. And it's looking like Rotom Wash is going to be our Dynamax candidate. If we can get maybe a Rain, Electric Terrain, it could be really good. Uh, Nido Queen does outspeed, right? Yeah. We can Ice Beam just in case they go Angron. We can Ice Beam for that. Oh, it doesn't even KO. What the? Oh, that's a choke. I for sure thought Ice Beam would KO. Choke, choke, choke. We'll go to Kingler now. Good matchup versus Agron and Pharaoh. I don't think you would lead Claw It's there. You lead Gengar. and you... So you do have a Poison type. Okay, interesting. I think we always go type Null, right? I think we go type Null. You go to Pharaoh Thorn. Ooh. Now Pharaoh Thorn is gonna heal. Oh, we should have we should have not sacrificed Needle Queen there. I assume Leech Seed is coming in. We can't stop it either. I mean, is this gonna work? Probably not. Oh, they have a Carbink too. And they can reflect. Let's re uh, rest up here. Get Stealth Rock. We can go to Stack Attacker now. Body press, ooh, 25. It outspeeds us too, okay. But, agility, we can superpower. We can superpower again, we dodge power whip, okay. I think we go for the win with Rotom Wash here, right? Our Bink does not have its sturdy intact. We will max lightning here, okay? You go to Carbink, we can max geyser here. Oh, that doesn't even KO. And you get a light screen up. Hmm. We can lightning again, doesn't really matter. That doesn't even KO. Why am I why am I why am I throwing here? 
Gengar comes in, but it does have the support. We'll just Hydro. Okay. Critical hit, 42 only. Okay. Uh, probably going to Dynamax. We lose to the Dynamax here. Ooh, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have choked. We lose here. 2237. Let's end above 2250. If we can if we can end above 2250, I'll be happy. Okay, Audino. I always hate fighting Audino because it's so annoying to beat. Especially with knockoff. We can go to Best Queen though. We have Zacian, which is great. Even Urshifu Rapid is kind of good. Gardevoir is kind of good. We'll go to Vespa Queen on the knockoff. Here. Okay. Oh, it's Zoroark. That's interesting. Do we do we just toxic here? I think we do, right? On a flamethrower, we don't have a flamethrower switch in, do we? I mean, Urshifu. Uh, this might have Focus Ash, right? So, I think we toxic. Okay, and I think honestly we sacrifice it and then go to Zacian. We can play rough here, right? Yeah. Oh, it's so fast! I didn't know that. And I sacrificed Zacian too. Did they increase the level recently? I don't remember Zoroark being that fast. Did they? And they have an Urshifu counter, unfortunately. We definitely lose now. No, no. There's one way we can win. Okay, we'll have to Willow the Audino, then we have to Memento the Audino, and then we have to win with Gardevoir. Right? Let's body press once, okay. You do 50, okay. We'll Willow the switch in. Okay. That is a great Willow on a physical attacker. We'll go back to Urshifu, right? Oh, but the Toxic Spike gets up for Gardevoir. Now we can go to Celesteela on Celebi. We can Air Slash, right? How much is that doing? 20? Okay. I think we're going to go for the win with Celesteela here. 52. We can uh, steal for the defense boost. Yeah, this might be our win condition here. There we go. Special attack boost as well. Okay, we are snatching victory. Audino is not going to have a good time. We got the speed boost we wanted. We might need another one. 207 is kind of slow. We do want one more speed boost. But we got the special attack boost, and that is what, what's important right now. Okay, how much are we doing? 55. You knock off. That is not good enough. Knocking off is not good enough, because we will get one more attack in. There we go. 40 only. Well, wow. okay. We can flinch you. Yeah, we can go for the flinch. Oh, please hit. Ooh, that's so weak. But I don't think you can stop the Celesteela right now. Defense boost and speed boost, it's too much. They forfeit. So we do move up back to 2258 after losing Zacian for no reason. And that's going to end the episode here up and down. But we did move up, fortunately. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next episode.